All right, Shalom. I want to give all glory and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, the wonders to the elders and apostles, the great millstone, Shalom to the hopefully elect, and Shalom to all the Aki and pushing his truth with sincerity. All right, now, just want to do a quick lesson through the Spirit, and uh, I'm going to entitle this that the Most High is angry, or Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai is angry, okay? And, um, how do we know that? Of course, according to the scriptures, all right? And another way to indicate, you know, the Lord's anger towards this place is if you go to the book of Genesis in the fifth chapter, okay? Now we can compare the those times in the, um, in the ancient days during the time of Noah with the times we we're living in now. All right, so let's read it, Genesis 6 and 5. And Yahweh saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. All right, now you go to your modern day um, person, all right, your average Joe, all right, or especially these these niggas and, and, and these bitches, all right. You go to the mind of Esau, all right, these heathens, so on and so forth, man, but, you know, Man's heart is only focused on doing wicked shit, man. Okay? That's the only thing. Wickedness is, is if you're not doing doing wicked shit or right, or living a, a life full of sin, then you're, you're an outcast. You know what I'm saying? All right? If you don't eat pork and eat crab, if you don't fuck niggas, bitches, all right? If you don't support, you know what I'm saying, transgenders and homosexuality, all right, you're an outcast to this world, which all those things that I listed, okay, are forbidden, all right, and are considered abominable things, all right, in the scriptures, are considered abominable things in the sight of the Yahweh Bashim all right? So let's read verse 6. And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart, all right? So these things, the state of this world, especially over here in America, is a grieving thing to Yahweh Bashim al Shai. It's grievous to Yahweh Bashim al Shai. The Lord has does not accept this stuff. Then you go to these churches and they say, you know, come as you are and all this and that. God loves everyone. Rather, you know what I'm saying? He loves this he 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 hates the sin, but he loves the sinner. That's bullshit. You go into the apocrypha, it clearly tells you that the Lord hates sin, hates sinners. All right? Matter of fact, let me grab that. I think it's in Sorak somewhere. Let me see. Yep, Sorak 12. Or let me see. Yeah, Khan. Sorak 12 and 6. Yeah, Khan. Sorak 12 and 6. Yeah, that 21 fire, though. I was reading that. Sirach 12 and 6, it says, For the Most High hated sinners, and where we pay vengeance unto the ungodly, and keepeth them against the mighty day of their punishment, man. All right? So the Lord is not dealing with this place. This place is full of abomin abominations, all right, and wickedness, man. All right? So that's how we know Yahweh by Shema Shai is angry, and even we angry with this place. We hate this place. We vex with this place, man. All right? And we just mortal men, okay? How much more you have about Shem Shot? All right, we can only see the wickedness that we, you know, we can see through our own two eyes. But you have about Shem Shot sees the wickedness upon the whole face of the earth, man, day in and day out, okay? So the Most High is angry with this place. Yahweh Shot is angry with this with this place, man. All right, and collectively they're going to destroy this place. All right, all from the words and prophecies that Yahweh set up. And he's going to execute these things through Yahweh Shai. When Yahweh Shai comes back, all right, and brings war and judgment to this place. According to uh, Revelation to the 19th chapter, it says, In righteousness he doeth judge and make war. Okay? On his head were, were many crowns. All right? Because he's coming down to destroy the wicked kingdoms of this earth that have done nothing to be fruitful upon the earth. Nothing to help the earth flourish but have done nothing but um, destroyed the earth and destroyed the, the, the masses of the people, the minds of the people, 
All right. So Yahweh by Shemal Shah is going to do a number in this place, man, which is very, very well deserved and needed. OK, because the the earth can't can't continue to grow and flourish and be at its full capacity with these wicked ass Edomites. All right. And all this wickedness that this man is allowing to happen in this earth. All right. Nothing is will able will be able to flourish. Nothing will be able to prosper. Vegetation, fruit, all right? Just just living period, man. We breathing in smog, all right? We drinking tampered water with all types of chemicals dumped in it. All right. The animals are are, are are vexed as well. They going through all types of shit. I think tiger's on the brink of extinction for whatever reason. All right. You know, with all because this damn devil, man. You know, and like I said, man, you know, just the, the, the vibration of this place is just complete wickedness. You got wicked ass niggas and bitches, thought culture, the black, black culture. All right. Which is negative void of light culture in all honesty. All right. That's out there. You know, you're not accepted if you, unless you a thug killer type of nigga. All right. And if you a woman, you ain't respected if you ain't no whole ratchet whore. You know what I'm saying? It, it's just this place is completely backwards, man. The Lord, you know what I'm saying? He gonna come visit this place, man. Just like he did during the time of Noah. Okay? The Lord does not change, man. The same things that grieved him then during the time of Noah is the same things that's grieving him now. Because it's the same people coming back. Simple and plain. The Lord gonna destroy them. So let's go... Um. Let's go here. Now we understand that um, Amos 9 and 8 is concerning Israel. Okay, but we can apply that to this kingdom now because this is a sinful kingdom as well under Esau's rulership. All right. Amos 9 and 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh, are upon the sinful kingdom and will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, save the Lord. For lo, I will command, and I, I will sift the house of Israel among all nations. Like as corn is sifted in a sieve, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake or prevent us. Yeah, because they think, you know, everything's sweet. They think, you know what I'm saying, ain't nothing going to happen. Can't nothing happen to me. You know what I'm saying? As if they already immortal. As they, you know what I'm saying, you know. Think they got everything figured out, but the Lord going, he going to show y'all, man. Jacob's trouble is approaching. You see Elon Musk and this, this neurological link all intermingled with the CBDC and stuff. All these things are happening all at once. The wars, okay, everything is just, is, you know what I'm saying? The prophet prophecies is just, you know what I'm saying, popping off the page right before our eyes. All right? So the Lord's he, he's doing some things in this earth, man. It's just going to continue to get worse. All right. And he's going to do away with two thirds of the nation of Israel, man, for the wickedness that they've committed. All right. Trusting this damn devil, these Edomites making Esau their God. All right. Depending on this man for every, you know what I'm saying, all their wants and needs. Not trusting the Yahweh Bashim al Shai. And when this man take away y'all food and, you know what I'm saying, y'all's all, y'all way of life or threaten y'all with it, two thirds of these niggas going to bow down. Bow down to Baal. Bow down to these devils, man. Like, man, like some fucking cowards, man. That's why we don't like you niggas, man. The hell with two-thirds on this side, man. These niggas don't stand for shit. All right? You know, because, like, you know, and that's why you got to read the scriptures, man, to understand that we already dead, man. So us that's in this truth, ain't no turning back now. I mean, what, you know, that's how I see it. It's, it's like it's no alternative. We know... You know, we know exactly what's going to happen, man. The scriptures already tell us what's already going to happen, man. All right? That's why the scriptures say, what manner of person are you to be in all holy conversation? Because, I mean, what the fuck we going to turn back to? Ain't like Esau got some other route. So it's an escape door. You got a fire escape out this truth. As if you leave and it's going to be, a, you know what I'm saying? You got some other option. Hell no. You ain't got no, no other option but death, man. That's your only way out this thing. Either you win or out, man. And if you start to come in and you end up leaving, your ass is going to be out for sure. The Lord going to take care of you, man. 
All right? He going, you know what I'm saying? Bring judgment upon you. So we, that's why the scriptures tell we prisoners of Yahweh by Shemar Shai. Ain't no leaving this thing, man. You know? Because we fear that, you know what I'm saying? We we rather, you know what I'm saying? Esau handle business on our body than Yahweh by Shemar Shai. What it say? Fear not him that killed the body, but fear fear him that killed both body and soul in hell, man. And who is that? Yahweh by Shemar Shai. We feel the creator, not the creation, man. Simple and plain. Let's jump here real quick. Isaiah 66. A little while I'll do a part two to this. Isaiah 66. And uh, I'm going to start at 8. I mean, 14. It says, And when ye see this, your heart shall rejoice, and your bones shall flourish like an, an herb. And the hand of the Lord shall be known toward his servants and his indignation toward his enemies. And toward his enemies. The Lord has enemies, man, down here. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So like I said, man, the Lord is angry, bro. Why? Because all the abominable things, all right, that are going on in this earth. Esau has made himself to be as the most high. All right, you got the wicked ass, two thirds. All right, and you know these heathens, you know they this wicked. They just some damn animals. All right, but the Lord mainly got it out for you, Edomites, and you wicked ass Israelites, man. All right, simple. So Obadiah got to be fulfilled. Zechariah thirteen and eight got to be fulfilled. So that's what the Lord got it, got it out for, man. All right? And you know, the other nations, the heathen, they're just going to be collateral damage, man. <laughs> Verse 6, For by fire and by the sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many, man. Simple. The slain of the Lord shall be many. The Lord is about to do a lot of killing in this earth. Rather, the Christians believe it or not, all the things that's about to come to pass ain't from Satan. It's from Yahweh Bashim and Hawashai. All the judgments, all the plagues, so on and so forth. Yeah, man, it's coming from Yahweh Bashim and Hawashai. All right. It says, They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind the tree, in the mist, eating swine's flesh and abomination, and the mouth shall be consumed together, save the Lord, man. That just goes to show you ain't supposed to be eating abominable fools, man. These church folks, man. The Lord catch you eating pork or anything unclean in that day. Your ass is going to get burnt up. Simple and plain. All right? So, yeah, man, the Lord, he, he turning up, man. You know, that's why we got to continue to do what we do. Continue to serve the Lord with truth and sincerity, man. Just pray and hope that, you know, we are found worthy, man, to escape all these things that's about to come upon this place, man, especially here in America. Because America is going to get it the worst. You know what I'm saying? Babylon are great. And one hour, um, great riches um, come to naught, man. The Lord got it out for this place, man. So I'm going to call it that. I'm going to give all glory and praise to you. How about you, man? I'm Shalom. And a Baba Ball.